My name is John Thornton and I am ever so proud to bring you part two of the Thornton family history. As many of you are already quite well aware, the Thornton name and the American flag have a long and proud connection. But our ancestors originally came from England of all places. Indeed, the name Thornton has a curious English history. At one point, apparently, there were members of our family who were actually poor, and they lived in these little villages in thorny areas of the English heath. These villages were known as thorn towns, and eventually, the word thorn town was abbreviated to Thornton, hence our name. Another very sad thing that I have to discuss right now is the almost unbelievable fact that not every Thornton has been good. Indeed, tonight's history lesson on Vicomte Henri Donglaise Thornton will show one of the most evil and disreputable members of our family. We will learn tonight how Henri treated a Jewish friend of his with merciless cruelty. I hope you find tonight's show entertaining and informative. Never let it be said that we Thorntons are perfect. Indeed, there have been some wretched villains in the rich pageantry of Thornton history. Thorntonic scholars rate the subject of this painting as one of the worst scoundrels of the dynasty. This is Vicomte Henri d'Anglaise Thornton, and despite being born in England, and having a very poor ability to communicate in French, he nevertheless moved to France and became a leading courtier of King Louis XVI. One of Henri's few friends was a wealthy Jewish merchant and petit bourgeois by the name of John Cohen. Monsieur Cohen at one point acquired a lovely island between India and Africa and had a wondrous beach home built there for the enjoyment of his family. Henri became obsessed with seizing this island paradise from his friend. In very ungrammatical French, he composed a document and persuaded the king to sign it. And here's the text of that document. Parce que le Jew Cohen n'aime pas le Christ, tous ces choses doivent aller au mon bon ami Henri d'Anglais Thornton. Aussi, nous voudrons que Cohen et le guillotine être comme les aimants. This translates, because the Jew Cohen does not love Christ. All his possessions should go to my good friend Henry Dingley Thornton. Also, we would wish that Cohen and the guillotine become like lovers. This painting shows Henri gleefully locating his new island on a map while his unfortunate friend Monsieur Cohen loses his head. Was this anti-Semitism or simple greed? Well, we Thorntons all have a little bit of the greed, but there has been not nary a trace of anti-Semitism for at least 300 years. And I would hazard the guess that Henri is the only anti-Semitic Thornton that ever lived. 